everyone. Um, yesterday I saw a couple of articles, and as you know, I talked about it in a long Twitter stream. You can check out my Twitter for my latest tweets. Basically, everything that TIs have been going through is basically being taken worldwide and rather predictably uh, what we have are the West blaming China, Russia, Iran, Cuba and then we have China blaming black people so it's just a cycle that never fucking ends. And in the meantime, we've got xenophobia on the rise, racism on the rise. How is it that even at my sickest, even at my most ill, I could see where all of this was going and nobody else had the wisdom to? I'm trying to understand. I really have to examine why. I've been so gung-ho about this T.I. thing. I think the reason why I've been speaking out about my torture and speaking out about everything that's going on, I think partially it's selfishness. Actually, no, I don't even think it's partially selfishness. I think selfishness was the reason I even started this. Is what the reason why I even started making videos to do with my TI experiences, pure selfishness, I was hurt, I wanted people to pay for it, and if I wasn't going to have people pay for it, I wanted attention for all the torture that I was going through, I wanted attention for all of it, and it's, it just so happens I was lucky enough to meet people who were strong, who were brave, who were intelligent, who maybe didn't understand everything about the world, but they understood enough to know that this situation was just completely fucked up and it was never going to lead anywhere good. But it didn't matter how much you tried to warn people, they still didn't get it. It had to be the truth. It seems like it has to be taken, chopped up and rearranged by the wealthy and powerful first before people go along with it and I say go along with it because a lot of people don't even believe what they're going along with but it seems like we gotta be wealthy and powerful for you know, for the truth to be heard because, you know, I'm not being funny but these alchemical fraternities these you know, trillionaires and billionaires, they're, they're always going to tell us what they're doing. They're always going to tell us what they're doing. It's just the way that they tell us, it lulls people into a full sense of security and that's what they always look for. And everybody is more comfortable with that than accepting the truth as is. Gang stalkers their handlers and their controllers and the people who go higher up than that they've been stupid enough to lead everybody into warfare with this shit it hasn't preserved any peace it's eroded it we are already living like we're living in war times a war hasn't happened yet or maybe it has that's the point the whole thing that was happening with TIs, it's come to it's come to pass with the rest of the world now. Now Bill Gates is talking about fucking bioterrorism, which TIs have been talking about. Now they're talking about misuse of AI, which TIs have been talking about. Now they're talking about lab leaks, which a lot of people have been talking about since this outbreak happened. You see what they do. You see what the powerful and wealthy people do they take the truth chop it up put it back together in a package that suits the rest of the public and i gotta blame the rest of the public for this i can't blame bill gates for this i can't blame those, those fucking scumbags 
I can't blame the medical profession for this. I can't blame the billionaires for this, the trillionaires for this. Because how do they get their money? They get their money selling comfortable lies and convenience to people. If we weren't buying those things, they would have no power. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And it's that mental laziness, that fucking narrow mindedness that is leading to a situation where war is imminent. Because remember, with the Havana syndrome, um, you know, when U.S. intelligence start, officers started coming out and saying they have Havana syndrome, who did the U.S. government start blaming? Cuba, Iran, Russia, China, former communist countries. It's all on my, it's all on my tweet, but I might as well repeat it now since we're talking. The second thing that I want to bring up is that all the COVID variants, they're named after fucking... Um, brain frequency bands you've got alpha delta gamma alpha delta gamma i don't know if the fourth one is um yeah there's alpha alpha beta there's alpha beta gamma delta theta hasn't come out yet but wait for that one and yeah, I know that they're the first five letters of the Greek alphabet, but the, that's not no fucking coincidence that they named fucking COVID variants after brainwave frequency bands and shit. That's not a coincidence. So that's that's number two. Number three, the so-called outbreak itself came from Wuhan, China, right? Came from Wuhan, China. That's where COVID came, came from, allegedly. Comes from a bat in China, a former communist country. And then you've got um, the fact that acoustic weaponry has already been reported to be used in China and um, China and Russia and in places like Chile and even in Israel. And Israel is supposed to be an ally of the West. Okay. You know, it's it's all been building up. If you look, if you look at targeted individuals and their stories, and then you look at what Bill Gates is talking about, and then you look at how the TI experience has been compartmentalized, the community stalking, the electronic torture, the nanoparticles, the the misuse of AI, how that all, how everything that TIs have been talking about has been taken, chopped up and repackaged as former communist countries are responsible. You know, Listen to how that's being repackaged as an excuse to go to war with other countries. And in this case, lose. Because China are the ones with the money. Russia are the ones with the money. I don't know about Iran and Cuba. But China and Russia, ever since they dropped that communist, you know, the communism in their countries, they've been making bank over there. They've been making bank. China in particular are outperforming us economically. So, clearly, the West are being geared up for war and we're being, you know, we're being geared up for war. We're being trained for xenophobic bullshit, racist bullshit. And we're being trained for all of that so that we can go to war and lose. Because remember, each citizen in this country has insurance on them. Some of us have a higher premium than others. I know my I know my premium ain't high. And that's probably why they haven't come after me as hard. I know I know my fucking whatever I've got going on over here. It can't be that high. It can't be. It can't be that high. At this point, the last time I checked um you know, the last time I checked the secret trust that were in my name, last time I checked wasn't that high. So it can't be that high with me. That's probably why the torture hasn't been that much. Because it's not that high. You know, there are cer certain people who get relentless torture, the most horrific torture, because their um, the trust in their name, the secret trust in their name that every citizen has, those secret trusts are fucking high. They're high as shit. That's why they get targeted so much. 
They're worth a lot of money. So if you're dealing with a whole population of people who are who have secret trust in their name because of what the government did. If you have all these people with secret trust in their name because of what the government did and they're not making any profit, because remember, if we have trust in our name, then we're assets technically. If those assets are not showing returns or there's too many of us to trade, then what has to happen? Then some of the assets have to be liquidated or the majority of assets have to be liquidated. What better way to do that than losing a fucking war? Winning a war is more expensive than losing it. If we go to, if the Western countries go to war with China, go to war with Russia, go to war with Iran, and they win, then they're the ones who are going to have to cover the cost of winning. Winning wars are extremely costly. Going to war is, is costly in the first place. But winning them? Hell, come on. Winning them? You're taking a piss. Winning them is costly as fuck. So everything that's happening right now is so that the West can lose. And if the West can lose, if there are any debts incurring, they can at least minimise those debts. By liquidating, the, by liquidating any liabilities within the country. That's their aim. That is their fucking aim. And knowing all this, knowing that the, you know, the nano, the nano dust that's been experimented on with targeted individuals has been directly responsible for this biological warfare that has been basically turned on the entire world, knowing that this community stalking was a precursor for everything that's going on now, knowing that the electronic torture was a precursor for everything that's going on now like i tried to warn people from 2015 and nobody was hearing me i said if you don't leave ti's alone you don't stop fucking with us it's gonna lead to war and what's happening my motivations were entirely selfish it just so happens that my intentions happen to fall in line with the entire world's fucking interests. I just got lucky like that, okay? Or maybe I didn't, because people still didn't listen. And now, because of this whole COVID situation, which is such a blatant, blatant social control initiative, a blatant initiative to starve us out and kill us off, with the amount of shortages that there are, like, it's, it's, bla it's, it's blatantly trying to kill us off. Blatantly trying to liquidate the assets through starvation and disease. That's what this shit is. With this shit blatantly happening, me having warned everybody from fucking six years ago, and other people in this situation having warned them from way, way back, like, from decades ago, there are so many TIs... And, and you know and weapons experts and torture experts that have been warning people for decades if you don't knock this shit off what is going to happen is that is that war is going to be declared because everything has been building up to this like again i don't explain it very well when i speak if you look on my twitter you will know what i'm talking about there are so many things about targeting that sync up and that have been that have led to this moment and have led to what's going on in the world. I said if TIs aren't left alone, it will lead to people dying. It's led to people dying and not just TIs. I said if people weren't left alone, it would lead to war. It's leading to war. That's what the, that's what the fuck these fucking wealthy people are trying to spark. They're trying to spark war on every front. The four horsemen, fucking disease, starvation, and war on two fronts. Like civil, we got racism, we got sexism, we got homophobia, we got xenophobia. So civil war. And then you got ordinary war, which is the whole Cold War thing that the West are trying to start up again 
only they want to bring they probably want to bring nuclear weapons into it to really get the job done everything that i've been through like again what was the point of me going through all this if it was just going to lead to this shit and what was the point in me even saying anything if nobody was going to listen and that people were just going to sleepwalk into being starved to death and into fighting with each other to the death like what was the point in me even saying anything You know what, I, got, I, got, I could give a fuck if these gang stalkers want to try and kill me. At least I don't have to live with these stupid bastards. I'm the damn sure I'm glad I ain't having no kids. Fucking hell. There's no way. Imagine me getting everything that I wanted. My life would be miserable. Imagine I got everything that I wanted. I, I would have got everything that I wanted. And I was going through this TI experience. And I found out. That everything that I was going through was literally go about to lead to fucking war. Stupid. And then on top of that, you got to consider that, again, every time I get attacked with these electronic weapons, I'm not the only one who feels the effects of it. Anybody who's near me feels it. Anybody who's near me feels it. The radiation has to go through other people to get to me. So how many other people end up dying because people want to torture me? And and, and people really think that once they get rid of me or once they, once they get me out of somewhere, that that's going to be the end of it. No, once I've been here, it's a permanent setup. It's a permanent setup. Guess what that mimics? COVID. It mimics COVID. It might not be COVID. The electronic weapon thing might not be COVID, but it mimics it. Because if I've been here and then as soon as I leave, it's still going to be a permanent setup for fucking weapons experimentation anyway. If it's going to if it's gonna still run like that, then it's basically the same like COVID. Like once, you, once you've been there, um, there's no real getting rid of it. Like that type of shit. So other people are dying right alongside me. For what? For what? For what? What what was all this for? And it makes me it makes me wonder what the point is in talking about the TI stuff anymore. I I was doing so well. I was thinking about my business. My love life is going well, relatively well anyway. Like, things have been going well in my life. And then I hear this and it makes me think, what am I doing all this for? Why am I even bothering to speak out against against fucking gang stalking? When the whole point of speaking out about gang stalking is to prevent war. It's not to stop me from hurting. It's not to stop TIs from hurting. It's not even to stop TIs from being murdered. It's to stop us all from being murdered. That was the whole point in TI speaking out. That's why we were supposed to speak out. That's why we were supposed to get the word out. It, it wasn't just going to affect us. It was never just going to affect us. The whole point it was in us speaking out was to prevent the food shortages that we've got now to prevent um, families fighting with each other. It was to prevent all this shit from happening. And now look, people are slept walk into it. It makes me wonder, and, and people still don't get it. People still don't get it. So it makes me wonder what the point is in speaking out anymore. I've said it before, but now I'm genuinely wondering... I'm looking at plans that I've made for my life and I'm thinking, what the fuck is the point in all this? What's the point in all this? To survive, survive what? What what am I surviving into? But, but, uh, okay, so let's just say for argument's sake, the nuclear bombs drop. I'm one of the people that actually survives it. Like, then what? Then what? 
d'un mois. D'un mois. It's not, it's not that I'm suicidal or anything. I'm not, I swear I'm not. I, I, I like my life as it is. But, again, what, what am I fighting for? These gang stalkers are working so hard to get rid of me. But what am I fighting it for? But what am I fighting against it for? Like, for what? Comfort? What is this comfort? What is any of this worth? If it's not going to last. What is it? What is any of this? Memories? What? 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 Human beings have not been doing what they're supposed to do. And they've been instead doing a whole bunch of crap. Focusing on crap that is not important. Trying to be superior to one another. Trying to engage in these fucking power games. Survive for what? 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 What purpose do I have left other than to focus on the people who don't have a voice, who, who need protection and who need comfort? That what, what purpose do I have left beyond that? Because the world ain't listening. What purpose? Do, like the, what, the world did not listen. This could have been prevented decades ago before... Before this targeted individual thing was even a thought in my mind, this could have been stopped decades ago. There have been weapons expert and defense experts and torture experts and whistleblowers coming out talking about this for fucking decades. This could have ended decades ago and nobody fucking listened. So what am I doing this for? And I'm not trying to say that as a permanent thing. What the fuck am I doing this for? People ain't learning. People don't fucking get it. People don't fucking get it. And again, back to back to the mental illness thing. You know what? How how is it again? How is it that somebody with terrible mental psychological injuries was sensible enough to see this for coming, and the rest of you didn't fucking see it with your so-called sane selves? Get the fuck out of here! I told you, idiots. I'm talking to the I'm talking to the gang stalkers now. I told you idiots. You kept fucking with us. It was gonna lead to war. I told you that. And what did you do? Start posturing up and bigging up your chest. You're weak. You're weak and you're stupid. And I'm gonna be damned if I'm gonna fight to survive along with the rest of you clowns. I'm gonna be damned. The fuck you take me for? I'm gonna be damned if I'm gonna I'm gonna like be here with the rest of you when you know when you when the all the damage that you've done finally comes to light. You think I want to be here with the rest of you? The fuck? What are you surviving for? What are you even doing this for? I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to bet, I'd be willing to bet that gang stalkers outnumber each TI 15 to 1. What the fuck am I surviving with you lot for? What for? Stupid. Stupid. Surrounded by fucking idiots all the time. And it's like, and, and I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be their victim and their fucking therapist. All the while they contribute to conditions that cause famine and that causes war. And I'm supposed to, oh, oh no, hell no, hell no. Hell to the, hell to the fuck no, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'll still do my work with I am not a prototype because I respect Winnie Mangwende. I respect other TIs that have been fighting, that have been dying to get the truth out, I will still do my work with them, I will still do whatever work I need to do in order to, you know, I've got stuff in the pipeline, I don't want to say too much, but I'll, I'll do as much as I can, but 
from now on, the, the only help I'm going to be giving is to the people who actually deserve it. Fuck everybody else. Everybody else is a moron. Fuck them. Fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. Like... I'm going to go, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do today, might just get some coffee in, do my thing, you know, whatever my thing is, fuck it, I might just do nothing today, I feel like doing nothing today, absolutely fuck off.